All right, shalom, shalom. 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 Will the brothers come at you from the GMS Campbell and the church? And before we get started with this lesson, we're going to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, and Karka Dash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, and peace, love, and salutations to you, hopefully, that's good Christian truth. And the Spirit got us today um, to do a lesson on how the Lord's going to be with us, man, all right? Especially in these last days, all right? We're going to be facing more scenarios, um, different situations. More demons. Uh, we got to be ready to teach more people. Mm -hmm. it, you know, with this truth, it just carries a, a more heavy, heavier weight, man. All right, there's a lot of weight on bros because we're coming into these end times, man. All right, the Lord is setting us up to be kings, man. So we got to prepare ourselves. And we got to just believe ultimately that Yahweh Shemi Al Shah, that you people in recall God and Jesus Christ, He got our back, man. No matter what. All right, He's going to be with us until the very end. Even at the end, man, he's still going to be with us forever and ever, man. Okay, on the other side, man. All right, when the kingdom of uh, heaven get established, things of that nature, okay? But uh, we're just going to start off with that um, Isaiah 41 and verse 10. All right, Isaiah 41 and 10. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 8. Yeah. Um, Isaiah 41 and 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, mm -hmm. the seed of Abraham, my friend. Yeah, so no matter what. He still chose Israel, man, okay? That which contains you Negroes, Latinos, Native American, Haitian, uh, Haitians like you, all right? Argentinians and so on, man. The 12 tribes of Israel, all right? You can continue out. Uh, verse 9. To whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and cast not thee away. Yeah, man. I Meaning, don't cast him away. All right. These are the times when we see we should be um, seeking Yahweh by Shemiel Shah more and more, man. Mm -hmm. Every day, man. Even throughout the day, you should seek him. <laughs> damn it, all the time, man. Okay. Hey, hey. The water of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah. The water of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah. Prime example. On the way here, you know, you had this guy, you know, who was doing reckless driving, and the Lord showed mercy unto me and my rib, man. Okay. And instantly, I'm like, man, the water of Yahweh Shemi Al Shah, all right? Just giving him glory, man, all right? It's things like that, man, where you should honor and glorify Yahweh Shemi Al Shah all times, man, and um, build your relationship, okay? Because that's what it's all about. He wants you to glorify him. Mm -hmm. He wants you to call on him. He wants you to cling unto him. We his woman, right. all right? When you want your woman to come, come to you for help, all right? And all things and all needs. All right, she she put her faith in you. Yeah, we're supposed to be putting our faith in you. How about Shimia Osha, man? Mm -hmm. Okay, throughout any situation. Okay, you got it out. You got a precept. Uh, yeah, this is Baruch chapter four, uh, verse four. It says, "O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people. The memorial of Israel. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we got to be of good cheer. You know, in these, in these last days, and like the brother said." We're going to come into a point where there's going to be more responsibilities, more people coming to us, you know, maybe family members. Hey, more pers the persecution is coming. Mm -hmm. So we got to be a good cheer, man. We, it's not a time to be in the, um, you know, ER spirit. You know, we, we're deadly serious about this truth. But, you know, that doesn't mean we're just, uh, you know, the scriptures say, uh, what does it say? Don't let your sins weigh you down. Mm -hmm. We can't be in that spirit of just, uh, you know, being down and out, man. We're, we're in a time where everything is turning up. And we're seeing the downfall of our enemies, man. God. Any more on that? That's it on that. God, we can go back to that precept. You can just um, read it then. Go through verse 10. All right. Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not the spade, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Yeah, man. He's a, he basically said, I'm your power. Mm -hmm. I'm your power, man. Call on me. I'm with you. He said, he'll what? Strengthen us? Mm -hmm. Okay. What else, I, what, what else he said? It says, I will help thee, mm -hmm. and I will uphold thee yep. with the right hand of my righteousness. I Meaning he'll pick you up, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Easy. All right. If you're seeking help and you're sincere about it, man, the Lord's going to pick you up, man. Right. All right. Whether you're going through financial problems, um, problems with your household, Anything, man. It's easy to us, y'all, by Shemiel Yeah. He don't want to put you in a situation in the first place. Mm -hmm. All right? He's not a man that he should tempt you, okay? 
Because the scripture says that in what? James the first chapter, okay? Mm-hmm. He ain't going to tempt you, but he's going to always be there for you. All right? He knows Satan out here wandering. Satan is doing his job. Mm-hmm. And the Lord's going to do his part by, by upholding you, man. Right. Paying you on the back saying, hey, it's all right, man. We all take L's. Hey, it's okay. I understand what you're going through. Hey, it's okay, man. Call on me and I'm going to give you the strength and the energy to endure all things, man. Okay? Simple as that. Yeah, anything to uh, speak on? Uh, it says, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And we know the right, who sit on the right hand is Yahweh Shah. So, John. Yahweh Shah, at the end of the day, he's going to save us for our calamity. That's why we that's why we worship Yahweh Shah. Why would you not worship the man that's coming to save you? That doesn't make any sense. John. You know what I'm saying? Like these guys that don't believe in um, Yahweh Shah, these Old Testament uh, <clears throat> knuckleheads or. Even these guys that believe, they say they believe in Yahweh Shah, but all they do is y'all praise to the Most High. What about Yahweh? What about Yahweh Shah, man? Mm-hmm. Yahweh Shah went on that cross to save us, so we take comfort in these words that were given to us, you know, in these last days, man. Come, man, beautiful in Spain, man. All right. What about the apostles and elders? Okay, right. who's been in this thing, pushing His name? Okay, glorifying His name. That's a beautiful thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can um about those that on that. Uh, we can keep going on a little bit more. Come you got it, bro. Uh, Isaiah 41 and 12. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them, even them that are con- that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. Come and Jay war with us all the time. Yeah. Okay? Bump of heads. Okay? Mm-hmm. Talking shit. All right? Esau, he, he loved bumping heads with us, all right? Yeah. These Hamites, these different nations, okay? Hell, even the insects, they got demons on them, <laughs> all right? Demons themselves, man. Love trying you, okay? It's like the whole world is against you, man. But always remember what he said, man. Hey, he's here to pick you up, bro. Mm-hmm. All right? This is our hell, man. This is Esau's kingdom. This is his heaven, all right? Our part is coming, man. Even in Esau's kingdom, we want to destroy this shit, man. Through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, okay? Yahweh Shah's gonna get rid of this this um simple kingdom, man. That's right. Okay, you got it, brother. Verse thirteen: For I, the Lord, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not; I will help thee. Fear not; He gonna help us. No matter what kind of technology, you know, crazy um, guns and missiles these devils got. All right. And some of our people are going to go against us. They did it with um, Paul and Barnabas, okay? And they had to flee from the city. All right? Mm-hmm. They tried to persecute them. So right. it's going to happen again. All right? All right? Because you, you know these um these wild grace out here, they get what's called being envy. All right? They get the spirit of jealousy. All right? They start to look at you. You just healed my woman. What up? It, that's going to happen. Yeah. And we just went into uh, last night. How A lot of men going to die. All right? Woman, you're not exempt, but we're just, we're just putting it, you know, hey, you're going to have a lot of men dying, and you're going to have a, a woman getting saved, okay? Mm-hmm. You're going to have men out there who's going to get jealous because the spirit you know, will hit you to heal a specific woman. Yeah. And he's going to try to come, you know, come against you. That's right. Even the opposite way around, you might heal uh, a woman husband, she might get jealous. Hey, yo, you know what I'm saying? Who knows how it's going to go down? But these are just examples on how Israel actually are, okay? Mm-hmm. Throughout your everyday life, man. Your daily walk. Y'all was going to have demons, like I said. Okay? That's why the Lord said, fear not, man. Because mm-hmm. he knows that the world's going to come against us, man. All right? Yeah, how about Shemiah knows? Okay? You got it, right? Um, verse 13. For I, the Lord, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. Verse 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. Mm-hmm. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So that's it on that one. Come. He's like, thou worm Jacob, man. Because I'm going to put it like this. We ain't shit without y'all about Shemiah on shot, okay? We ain't nothing without the Lord, man. Mm-hmm. Thou worm Jacob, man. Okay? That's why you got to pray for humility. Um, you got to be humble. And... If the spirit correct you, take it. Things of that nature. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Con. And, and start rolling with the punches, man. With the spirit, man. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because he's with us, man. All right? 
You got a lot of peace up. Yeah, I got one. Come. Um, Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. Pride is hateful before the most high man, and by both the one commit iniquity. So when you got pride, man, you're basically on the um, bad side of the Lord, man. You know, like the brother said, um, correction and rebuke come. And um, that's what our nation needs right now, man. You see the condition of our people, man. They need rebuke. And that's why we go out to the highways and byways. But even in this, us in this faith, <coughs> we have to go through that certain... We have, we have to go through that... Uh, that uh, that that path of difficulty, man. Mm -hmm. So there's no need to be proud, man. Because we start we start to see it this week, man. This this guy, uh, what's that Joker's name? Brandon T. Jackson. Uh -huh. Talking about y'all need to come to me. Mm -hmm. You know, no, we don't need to come to you. Okay, that's a proud statement, and the Lord is not dealing with somebody that's proud, man. All right, uh -huh. He's not gonna come to your defense if you think that you're the power and you can save your own self, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what our people think. I did it on my own. I, I did this by myself. There ain't nobody helped me. I ain't need a help. That's what you hear from our people every Come. day. Yeah, the Lord hates that shit, man. Okay? And hell, we hate it too, man. That's yeah. why we create that's why we correct each other, man. And when you see a brother doing that dumb shit. Yeah. Alright? Like, I did it. It was all about me. Yeah. But Baku Shah, was that it on that? I got I got one more. Kinda after that, can you grab Proverbs eight and thirteen with Baku Shah? Yeah. Uh Ecclesiastes 10 and uh, 13. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that have it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Mm -hmm. Strange calamities. All right. Scenarios. There it is. Mm -hmm. All right. You're going to be put into different situations, and you're going to be like WTF, man. Okay. With a question mark above your head. Nah, they're going to be like, God, help me, God. No, no, no. Yep, confound it as a mug, man. Yeah. All right. Baku Shah, you grab that real quick? He said it was Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs 8 and 13. Then um, we'll, we'll jump back after this. All right, Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, mm -hmm. pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, mm -hmm. and the forward mouth do I hate. Uh-huh. The forward mouth, the yapping. I did this, I did that. Comes what? Pride, arrogancy, and the evil way. That's evil towards the Lord. All right? And you you ought to hate it, man. Okay? Nobody got to get those spirits off of you, man. Okay? He won't be with you if you carry those spirits around you. All right? We, we're here preaching to you right now saying he's going to be with you. But if you're not humble, if you don't take correction, if you don't try to get rid of your old man, all right? Just doing the things that is necessary Mm -hmm. You know, for the body and, and towards y'all about shooting y'all shot, y'all shot, hey, he gonna be in a strange calamity. Mm -hmm. All right, you're gonna be tested. You're gonna be, you're gonna have to prove yourself because yeah. the Lord is merciful. All right, but you but you're gonna be in a in a tough scenario. Okay, God, you got it. You gonna bring that word out? Yeah, I got this word forward from the online etymology. It's an adjective from the 12th century. It says mm -hmm. forward, turned against, perverse. Disobedient, uh, adverse, and uh, the last one is difficult. Kind. We all know what it talks about uh, in the scripture. What it talks about perverse spirits. Yeah. All right. It ain't right, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those characteristics that you're carrying, get it off of you. This yeah. is time of redemption, man. Yeah. All right. We ain't gonna sit here and say you can't get it off of you. Mm -hmm. Cause we'll be lying. Yes, man. This is the time to get rid of your old man, man. Get rid of your bad habits. All right, and just grow. Okay, because of what? We're here telling you that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is going to be with us. We brought out um, scripture saying that he's going to be with us, all right? And it's up to you to believe that, okay? Got anything to say? No, you want to go back to... Um, we can go ahead and get that Isaiah 44 right, and start... Yeah. Let's get the first verse. Let's see. Isaiah 44 and 1. Come on. All right, Isaiah 44 and 1. Yet now here, O Jacob, my servant in Israel... Whom I have chosen. There it is again. Yeah. Whom I have chosen. All right. And throughout the scriptures, he, he constantly say that, man. Whom, whom I um I have chosen. Whom I have chosen. Whom I have chosen, man. He chose the nation of Israel, man, which contains you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and so on. Once again, man. All right. The Lord is with His people, mm -hmm. but yet His people love to to go against the Lord and that perverse spirit, man. Okay. So what the Lord got to do now? Get rid of those two-thirds. Mm -hmm. Get rid of those wild grapes. All right? 
Chalk them down, man. Okay? You got it up. Uh, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. Yes, man. Once again, the Lord chose us, man. All right? He's saying, fear not. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a confident thing. Yeah. Right, when the Lord's saying, Fear not, man. I got your back. I'm going to pick you up when you're low. And if you are low, hey, don't worry, man. I got you. Alright? That, that's very confident, man. Alright? And that's what we got that's what we gotta do towards each other. Mm -hmm. Didn't the Lord do did, did not he um do it towards us? So why not with each other? That's right. Okay, and we followers. And we're supposed to be partakers. So hey man, hey. Like I said, you got to roll with the punches with the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. If you bobbing and weaving and do a right hook, trust me, we're going to copy the same moves, man. <laughs> All right? <laughs> just, you know, just, just speaking metaphorically, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? But yeah, that, that's pretty much it on that. You got anything else, bro? Uh, let me go to verse 3. Count. For I will pour, Isaiah 44 and 3, For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty mm -hmm. and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. So... The scriptures is referred to uh, the rivers of living water, and our people are spiritually dehydrated, man. We was spiritually dehydrated at one point in time, mm -hmm. but if you come back to the Lord, He's gonna put that. Uh, he's gonna quench your thirst, man. All right, this, this, these, these are the waters. You'll never be thirsty again, as Yahweh shot pe roughly paraphrased, pe roughly paraphrased, man. Mm -hmm. You'll never be thirsty again when you get into these living waters, man. So these are the advantages of serving the Lord, man. You, you'll know what the hell is going on. Come. On. All right, you'll be fully aware of the times that you're in. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to measure the times, like it says in, um, what is it, 2nd Ezra 9? Okay. All right, you'll be fully aware of what's going on, and then you look towards the hope of salvation in these times. So that's why we're, we're happy happy as a mug, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. this, hey, me personally, this is one of the best years I've ever had in my life. And it's, it's, it's a good time, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't got to sit up here and do jumping jacks, but, hey, the, man, the Lord has been looking out for us, man. And then and the scriptures talk about um, in Isaiah 65, man, his servant shall eat. So when the times of distress come and our people, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> are, uh, the scriptures say you reap what you sow. So for being pride, prideful, man, hey, you're going to be, your ribs going to be touching, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're not mm -hmm. trying to seek the God of the Bible, it, Christianity is dead. Islam is dead. All these other movements are dead. It's time to come back to the God of the Bible, man. Con, hey, that, that was beautifully said, brother. All right, come back, man. He said, "What, Lord, coming to bottom of a book?" Mm -hmm. All right, everything we have um, spoken through these scriptures. All right, Dude, we're not making this up. Yeah. Okay, this is just true. All right, the truth shall set you free, whether you like it or not. Okay, the prophecy is going to continue, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and these words that we um that we speaking, which is that new gospel, that good news. Hey, repent, man. Know the Lord is with you. That's great news. But you but you have wild grapes. They want to hate us for, for, for telling them good news. Man, that's dumb as hell. That's totally backwards, man. Yeah, that's ass backwards, man. Okay? You got anything else, brother? Oh, uh, you got something? Uh, um, I got this one right here. This is uh, Psalms 46 and 10. Be still and know that I am the Lord. Well, so I can be still and know that I am the most high. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will mm. be exalted in the earth. Verse 11, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come on. And everybody's going to know, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And every eye shall see. He said he's going to, shall be um, exalted. Mm -hmm. All right. And how is he exalting himself right now? Through his men. All right. Through the apostles and others, great millstone. All the way on down, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. We've been telling you people. Preaching unto you um, people. Telling you his true name. Telling you you can repent. All right? None of this is bad news. Right. Okay? And if it is correction, hey, that's still good news. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I have a flaw I need to work on? Bet. Or oh, if I don't fix it, I'm going to die? Bet. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just an easy fix. But like the brother said, hey, that prideful demon, man. Get in y'all head. Y'all start doing things of your own will, mm -hmm. your own doings, your own vein of pen, basically. Yeah. Okay? Can you um, read that book y'all one more time? This is uh, Psalms 46 and, 10, 46 and 10. Be still and know that I am the Most High. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. 
Con. Yeah, and the monster heathen, man. Okay? You saw going to know, but he's still going to be that devil. Mm-hmm. All right? Trying to, you know, buck up. All right? And the rest of these heathen nations are going to know. Including you two-thirds, all right? Because you guys act just like these heathens. Right. All right? We can't lie about that. All right? With the eating of eating the pork, tattoos. And if you are doing it, you ain't repenting. All right? You, you, you kissing Esau's behind and just putting your head in there and following him, man. Right. All right? We're telling you to wake up, man. All right? Just wake up. All right? But um, that's pretty, pretty much all um, I had to say, bro. That's all I had, man. Hey, there it is right there, man. Hey, um, hopefully this lesson was edifying, man. And we're just going to close out and give an all honor, glory, and two. Yahweh, by Hashem. Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rechak, Radash. Grab our honors once again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutations to you. Hopefully it's been pushing the truth. Shalom. Shalom.